Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to recreate my everyday makeup routine that is heavily inspired by the makeup done on supermodels. I will show you how to achieve a flawless and glowy complexion that looks natural up close and how to achieve a sleek, fresh, and youthful appearance. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to our sponsor, Casetify. Casetify offers a wide array of customizable and pre-made foam cases with designs to match your style. Casetify also offers military drop grade protection foam cases that can withstand up to a 6 feet drop and this is proof. There are a ton of phone case collaborations with designers like Lisa Frank, Coca-Cola, Hello Kitty, Pokemon, and the Rolling Stones, so I can't wait to collect them all. And what I really love about Caseify is that they are donating 10 free sanitizing wipes per order, and they have donated 10,000 masks to the Donation Relief Fund. They are FDA approved, and for every purchase of a mask, donates one more mask to the Direct Relief Fund. So if you're going to buy a case, make sure you go to casetify.com slash jbunzy for 20% off. So onto the makeup, I am starting off by massaging the Pixie Rose Oil Blend into my skin to hydrate and prevent any patchiness. This is the most important step to a flawless complexion. Next I am concealing my under eyes using the Pat McGrath Labs Concealer. This stuff is absolute magic. I am applying it only under my eye and upward into my temple for a lifted look. Now my ultimate secret to perfect skin was also Marilyn Monroe's secret, and it was the Anita of Denmark foundation that is still being made today. This foundation has seen so many decades because it has done a wonderful job at giving your skin a radiant and velvety finish. Next, I'm using the Urban Decay Lo-Fi Cream Blush and applying it to my cheeks and nose bridge to mimic where the sun would hit. Using cream blushes look way more realistic and give you a more natural finish up close than powder. That rule would also apply to bronzer, which I am using a dark foundation for, and applying it to my cheekbones, jawline, and around my forehead for a warm glow. Speaking of glow, I am using a pearly white highlighter on my cheekbones, nose, and inner eyes to really look awake and fresh. Moving on to the eyes, take any light brown eyeshadow you have, doesn't matter which one, just one that you like, and dust it into your crease, and also drag it upwards into a cat eye shape. Then apply a shimmery eyeshadow to your eyelid. It could be gold, it could be silver, whatever you prefer. Next, apply a darker brown with a small brush only to your outer corners to elongate your eye shape like the models do. Also apply it under your eyes as well. Now for eyeliner, you can use a brown or black. I'm using black to create a very thin cat eye. I am making the wing heavier at the tip and the rest of it very thin. This will definitely help in elongating your eye shape and making it look more cat-like. Next, I am using the Bambi Eye Mascara. We will be using half lashes as well, but I just want to mostly depend on mascara to maintain the natural vibe we are going for. Now I'm going back under the eye with a dark brown eyeshadow on the outer corner and adding mascara there as well. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to the eyebrows, first step to achieving the model brow is to comb them up and only fill in the gaps that needed filling and enhance the tail of your brow. Do not fill in where it's not needed as you want them to look as light and feathery as possible. Now this step is optional, I am grabbing half lashes and applying it only to the outer corner. This is something that Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn and thousands of other models have done to create a doe eye effect and I love it. And lastly, apply any pinky nude lip gloss and we are all done. So here is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this really quick, natural, and easy makeup look. If you guys want more doable looks like this, just comment down below and let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that way I can see you in my next video.